Okay, 9K. The morning took me about 46 minutes. One kilometer warm up and then some speed play. So two minutes on, two minutes off. You get a hard pace and then a nice coasty, cruisy pace. Six rounds and then one kilometer cool down. The way that it works out in my neighborhood with the speed play stuff is essentially, it's just really hilly around here. And so what I'll do is find a nice long hill, attack it and then coast until I find another one. So it works out pretty nice. Oh, inside, get a cup of coffee, hang out with the family, and I'll see you in a few hours for the lift. Wow. And we're back. Oh, Monday, bench, deadlift. Start to really incorporate some uh, Nordic curls and some incline bench press and then some nasty skull crushers and JM press at the end. Let's get to it. But before we do, Let's just recognize that a 10 by 10 shed with a cable tower, a set of rings, a squat rack, an adjustable bench, three sets of kettlebells, 315 pounds worth of weight, a trap bar, bands, an assault bike, adjustable dumbbells, a wrist curl bar, weightlifting shoes, four sandbags, a Viking press, a barbell, an easy curl bar, a pad for glute stuff and searcher stuff, a tib bar, a weightlifting belt, straps, and I'm sure I missed something or whatever, I have no idea, but it's pretty fucking dope. playing around with this trap bar a little bit and uh, man it feels so good to be able to actually pull off the floor pain-free so I'm working without a belt but I got this booty band this glute band and it's going around mid shin and the reason for that is because when I actively drive it against this band my glutes will operate in the way that they're supposed to right this complex of like knee min up here that stabilizes the hip I really want that to be stable because of course that's been a issue with me in the past. And so when I get down, I grab on, I brace nice and tight, I externally rotate, draw out against the band, and that's gonna help to stabilize everything and make sure that I'm moving properly. Or at least that is the general idea. You know, one day, when I'm a big player in the fitness industry, let's say when I've taken over millions of subscribers and supplement line and clothing line and the best programming on the market, some people are gonna look back at these videos and be like, how did they suck so bad? Well, I don't really have any skills as far as videographing is here, team. And uh, this is just my attempt to make a YouTube video the best way that I possibly can. And to the keen observer, years from now, looking back, seeing what Kev was like, you'll notice if you're watching these, what is it, from the beginning, chronologically, I knew I was smart, I knew I paid attention in school, that I had 225 on the bar last week as well. But I'm using an intensity technique, I'm really trying to build up my strength as best I possibly can. And so instead of putting more weight in the bar, I'm gonna deliberately pause on my chest before I drive it up, which is gonna make it substantially harder. And I'm going for sets of four. If you don't know, this is a mouth guard because I grind my teeth. Let's go!
Yo, buddy! So, my phone died, and I'm in the house after dinner, and uh, yeah, this is the end of the video. <laughs> so I did the rest of the workout, bench press, deadlifts, all the accessory work, Nordic curls, incline bench, and tricep work. Uh, if you like what you see, check it out for free on the hypertrainingcompany.com, and I will see you in the next one. Wow.